In today's video, Every day I'm looking for a way to return To the time when everything was easy to learn Don't know when it started to get so serious Building up an illusion of a world full of trust Moving on When everything's gone all right let's take a look at this back living room with a cute little girl sitting here normally i would tackle a room all at once but one of the main reasons why we're starting with this room is because we want to put the tv there and it's just going to be better if i have it painted first so I think today I'm gonna to focus on this wall, getting it done, because not only do I need to do the wall, but I need to do this trim too. So that's gonna take me extra time. I would normally go and do the whole room at one time. I like not using multiple rollers and just being able to complete a project in one day or maybe two days. I found a light that I want for up here so I just need to make sure that way up there that base part is an okay size and it will fit up there. I also need to fix this crack up here before before I start, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I need to fix that before I start painting. All right, so we filled all the holes and sanded them. So now what I am doing is taping off where the carpet is. So this is just painter's tape and I just kind of pushed it down in here. When I put it on, I had like a little overlap and then pushed it down so it protects your carpet. Because this is so shiny, you can see it, it's going to need some primer on it. This is the primer that I'm going to use. I use this for like everything. They have it in a gallon size too. The trim is primed, so normally what I would do is I would wait for it to dry I would do my cutting in of the paint color. I am going to do Sherwin-Williams pure white on the walls. I can't wait, it's gonna look so different. You were my best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing matters. Straight around like
kids are playing nicely for one minute. So we filled in some holes over here. This wall is done. It's nice and bright and light. I have so many plans. I think I'm actually gonna like put an art piece above the TV, but I wanted to tell you my plans. I'm gonna try a little trick and we're gonna see if it works. I really hope it does. So let me tell you what I want to do. All right, I love the look of black like inside the windows. Now, if you have wood windows, like a wood frame around your window, that would be super easy to paint and do. But Michigan here, pretty much all you see are vinyl windows and those are really hard to paint. So I had an idea. I think what I'm gonna do is paint the outside of this trim white. And right here, this inside piece, paint black. So this will be white. The actual window frame will be white. And this piece will be black. That way it will give it some dimension and character and add a little bit of color so it's just not all white. I am adding color in other places too in here. I can't wait to show you. I hope that works because I think that's the look that I want to go for with white and black windows just to give it something different, you know? Maybe we'll get this room done today. I don't know. The fireplace will be after everything is painted and I have something in mind for that. All right, everything is primed. You can see how it looks here. I got Tricorn Black by Sherwin-Williams in a satin finish because I got satin for this white trim right here. It's just a subtle difference from the walls, which are matte. So I'm gonna try it on one of these smaller windows first because if I don't like it, then I think all the trim will probably just be white. All right, I have one coat on and I love it. Okay, I'm iffy, <laughs> but I think I love it. Um, just because this outside trim is not white yet, so it looks funny right now. And I only did one coat, so I need to probably do three coats on here and I was getting a little messy on the actual window. That will scrape off, but I am going to go around and tape off the vinyl part of the window so I don't get it on there. So I think it will look good and it's just so much better than just white everywhere. I love how the black is turning out and it's time to take the tape off of this. Obviously I'm not done with the rest and I didn't tape that one so I'm gonna have a lot to clean up but let's take this tape off I think it's gonna look amazing I love this nice crisp line right there and then I'm gonna paint this and I'm gonna paint this white right there too that looks good you definitely want to take the tape off when it's still the paint is still wet 
because otherwise the tape will stick to the paint and you will probably rip off some of your paint. So as you can see, I still need to do this, but I got really excited this morning. I started cutting in with my wall color and I think that I'll have enough energy to actually paint the entire room today, at least I hope. But I realized that, I don't know if you can see it, I did two coats of white paint on this wall, but after I did the two coats, I looked up where my cutting in was and I was like, you know what, it really needs a third coat up there. I did the third coat and now I feel like I need to do a third coat on the walls. It just feel like it's going to look so much better if I just do one more coat. So I am going to, I think I'm just gonna cover up the TV and go around it and do one more coat on that wall too. So I just finished going around with one coat and I don't know why I didn't think this through. I am going to need more paint. There's no way a half gallon is going to do three coats in here. So I think white is going to be like my base color, but then I'm gonna add so many other colors. And if I change the dining room and the front over that room right there, if I change that to an office, Oh, we're gonna go dark and moody and maybe pink or something. I don't know, it's gonna be fun. I ordered a light fixture. I splurged on my light fixture. I got something from Serena and Lily. It will probably be about two, two and a half weeks until it gets here. We have the walls to do today. That's probably gonna take all my energy. And then I will do around the windows, the trim around the windows tomorrow. So walls, window trim, and then the fireplace. And then we get to decorate. I am so excited. I already have the coffee table. I have a rug that I want and I just keep waiting for it to come back in stock. I have some artwork that I picked out. Um, I'm excited for that. And the light fixture when that comes. I'm really going for like a cozy eclectic vibe in this house and I think in our last house I really felt like everything had to be perfect. Everything had to be uniform. I couldn't mess up on anything. I don't know why I'm getting emotional but I feel like I'm breaking that which is good for me. Why am I crying? Okay, I didn't sleep well last night, so I think I'm tired too. But I think in the last house, it was a slight obsession for everything to be perfect, everything to look so nice. And you know, it didn't feel family friendly. I mean, it was, don't get me wrong. It was totally fine for my family, but like and in this house, I really want it to be cozy and look lived in and like you would just want to go and curl up on the couch and have conversations with each other and I really want like that cozy vibe. I think I can do it. I have like a really good vision in my mind of what I want this room to look like and what I want some other spaces to look like. I already have stuff coming from my front entryway so that'll be next. All right we need to get back to painting. <laughs> My little companion over here, sleeping. All right, it pretty much took me all day because I do have four kids. So I did three coats of cutting in. I feel like it's pretty well covered. You know, with light colors and really dark colors, three coats is probably a good idea. I could not reach way up there, so my husband had to do it. As you can see, I put paper towel over here because when I start rolling up there with the roller, it will splatter everywhere. So make sure you have paper towels. This is my huge canvas cloth that I will spread out on the floor so that I don't get that dirty. It's coming along. Right, Marco? Right? Yes. What's the point of getting ready if I'm just gonna get sweaty? But I have everything set up down here. My drop cloth, my paint. I have a step stool so that I can easily get up to the top. 
And honestly, this is like my favorite part. So usually when this day comes, I am like so excited and ready to get started, which is why I am ready to go early this morning. One coat is done. You can see the difference between where there's three coats of cutting in and just the one coat of wall definitely is gonna need three coats. I love it. It's so different in here. I have Magnolia Network on <laughs> to motivate me to keep going. I feel like we need to document the bursting going up on the walls. This is, <laughs> so this is the garage door. This is a bathroom and I just painted the living room. So this space is technically in the living room. Who knows if this wall will stay here eventually, but I thought uh, part of it may go away. <gasps> Let's see, will it, will it stay up? This was my thrift store find that I got for $15. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Woohoo! And it will fall down in five minutes. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a week or a little more since I painted in here and I just took the time to tape this off. It's dark and cloudy today, but I am going to finish painting right here and this part right here is going to be white too. So it's probably going to need a good three coats. I wanted to show you the finished product. Look at, I love how this black turned out. I think this is a great idea if you really want to have some contrast but don't want to replace your entire window. I think it looks great. I'll give you a little sneak peek. I've started decorating in here. I love it so much. I love looking out this window and seeing the trees. Let me be 